Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have here the brand new Designer's Choice die set from Tonic Studios and this is February's set and as you can see the detail is immense on this collection. So just a quick, <coughs> excuse me, just a quick um, update and info about the die sets. So from last month the price got reduced so you don't need the die 5 code anymore. Um, it's just 19 99 which is great because you get a lot for your money um, and another thing I wanted to mention is the information for the designers choice die sets are always in the description box all you need to do is just click and you'll see all the info and um, if there is any update within the kits or any changes in prices I'll always put that in the information box below um, because these videos are kind of pre done to um, get sent to tonic studios sometimes i might miss out on some information but rest assured that if i do miss anything on my actual video the description box is always updated so definitely check out the description box for all the information that you need on these tonic studios designers choice die sets and so let's get started to this one this is absolutely gorgeous it's like a panel set with a band and the detail like i said it is amazing so the, i'll start with the largest die first so you get this huge a2 layer and these are perfect for your a2 cards you can use them just as a um verso die because it'll just cut the detail in and then you can repeat your pattern but it's the detail is just crazy amazing on these and then you also get a shadow layer so if you wanted to just cut a panel um with the details out you could do that as well so i've got a few cards lined up for you so stay tuned for those then we move on to this die here so this again is designed to perfectly fit around this here so you can see there's score lines here and also the cut line and then you also get this verso die here which has the really pretty floral details and i've already cut something out which i'll just quickly show you just to give you an idea of how this would work so the shadow layer the this layer here creates um this so you get your score lines and then this creates a little tab where then you just cut a strip out and um, it will go behind, for example. It's designed to sit like this on your card base. And then the decorative layer cut along with the shadow layer will create something like this. And you can see a bit more um, on this one where the crease lines are. So if you want to create layers, all you need to do is just cut the tabs off and layer them up. So really, really great versatile little die set here. And obviously you don't have to use them all together if you don't want to. You can use them um, on different cards, use different elements on different cards. You also get um, three sentiment dies on this. So you get Enjoy. And it's a really, really nice font. So you get Enjoy with a shadow layer. So there's two dies here. You get this um, label die here and this says i've not actually cut this out let me just see what this says and i believe it says celebrate so this is a celebrate die with a little shadow behind it and like i said you don't have to use this with it you can just use them separately and then the last sentiment die here is with love i have actually cut this out because i was just playing around with them and it cuts this beautiful with love perfect for valentine cards so those are my dies for this month so let's make some cards